Hey guys, and welcome to Petroped, and welcome to my COVID-19 daily vlog, uploading a new video every evening at 6 p.m. to keep you sane during lockdown. Well, it's time for another Peddler's Rides, and for this episode, I think we need to do a little bit of Porsche action. As always, we start off with a peddler's pup. Get ready for this one. Now, not only do I love dash hounds anyway, but that pup is called Ruby, clearly a name close to my heart, but Nicola and Shane Wimble sent that in and I just thought that was an adorable video. You can send little clips of video as well, if you like, but Ruby, you are cute and I just, as I said, I just think Dash Hounds are the coolest dogs ever. Now then, this episode is all about Porsche um, and I've got a couple of really nice videos for you. First one, we're off to a guy called Peter Randall who has a brace of beautiful Porsches and something else we quite like on this channel as well. Over to you, mate. I'm going to start the trio of what I've got in the garage. Um, this is a 1998 Targa in flat black. I've owned it for a few years now. Thought I'd take the roof off as uh, such a great day. So it's black with the linen leather and leatherette, I think they call it. So we've got all the original wheels. Which, uh, do need a bit of a clean, but uh, we get on to that. Oh, the pooch is going to come into the shop. Oh, just put a towel. <clears throat> so yeah, really enjoy driving this when we can. Um, it's pretty organic with uh, no power assisted steering and no power assisted brakes. So we got sports seats inside, which um, are pretty comfortable to be honest. Uh, probably some of the best seats I've ever driven in. Um, yeah, really like the car, it's in pretty good nick. Had a lot of work done to it in the kidney bowls and uh, paint and stuff. So I hope the, the shot's doing it some, some justice. So, had a well tail fitted. I quite like it, some people don't, but... Uh, so you got the five speed uh, G50 gearbox, which is pretty good. Um, bear in mind the car's 30, 32 years old now. Um, yeah, it's, it works, so it's pretty good. So that's one of them. And then we've got some, a slightly newer version. So we've got a 997.2. Um, this one's got a few options on it with the headlights. Uh, it's just in flat white, which I quite like. Um, and we've got the white seat backs, which I've never seen before on one, so uh, that's pretty cool. So we've got the 18-way uh, adjustable sports seats, PDK transmission with the chrome bits and bobs on. So completely different driving experience to the 88, obviously, so being a more modern car. But uh, they're both nice to drive in very, very different ways. So yeah, we. We both enjoy driving this one. So a convertible obviously, roof down. Shame with all this weather we can't actually go out and enjoy it. So it's a Carrera 4S, so it has the, the wider haunches, which I think looks really good. So then over here we have my wife's convertible. Little Mini. So she's got a Cooper S in Thunder Grey, I think it's called, which we really liked. So uh, with the Union Jack lights and the roof, which is pretty cool. It finishes off quite nicely, I think goes well with the paint. And then inside she went for, I don't know whether it's silver or cream leather, which uh, does look good. And a few little toys. She enjoys driving it, so that's the main thing. So, so there you are, that's uh, my little three car collection. Got a couple of other work cars and stuff, but uh, yeah, these are, the, these are the ones we like the most. My dog just chilling in the, uh, 
in the garage but uh, stay safe everyone and hopefully one day we'll be out and whizzing around the countryside all the best cheers now i must say i've always liked the kind of classic 911 shape the older ones my knowledge of the designator letters kind of gets a bit hazy before 996 i'm afraid so um, you'll have to forgive me for that but what a beautiful beautiful car however i do like your 997 that that's right up my street i'm i'm a big fan of those and what a beautiful car and I do like 911 convertibles as well I think they look really smart and they're really practical as well so yes mega your two car and the mini was lovely as well um, so now we're off to a guy called Roger Till who has maybe my favorite 911 I've been very lucky to drive quite a few but there's there's something about driving a 911 turbo so let's meet Erica Erica is Roger's well the lady in his life by the sounds of it. Hello Peter, this is Erica, named after a South African Shiraz which I love and the colour reminds me of the wine. But let's have a look round the car and I'll show you some of the things I like and some of the things I don't like. Firstly the headlights, they are xenons, the high beams are great but the dip beams aren't so good and you've really got to slow down. Another area which can cause problems, at the front there are three radiators, two for oil cooling, one for the air conditioning. Unfortunately, leaves, stones, various bits of rubbish get into the intakes and can easily corrode the radiators and they're quite expensive to replace. If we open the bonnet, you can see that I have a trickle charger connected to the battery. The main reason is if you leave the car for a reasonable space of time in the garage, the battery goes flat and that can cause major problems, which I'll explain later. Let's have a look at the front wheels. Here you can see corrosion beginning to appear, but the wheels are 14 years old and the car has done 76,000 miles. You can get them diamond cut and they can be done three times. So by my reckoning, I've got another 48 years life left in these wheels. So I'm really not gonna worry about that. The yellow calipers mean that this car's got carbon ceramic brakes. They're fantastic, but if they're wet and cold, then the handbrakes stops the car quicker. Another problem with Karma Ceramics is if they're damaged the replacement costs are £4,000 per disc. And that is quite expensive. Before we look inside the car can I show you the car key and the ring that my son bought me. It shows four lines on it and those are in the ancient Irish language of Ockham. Reading from the top down, the lines spell the four letters C-O-L-T. However, my son said you actually have to read the language from the bottom up, T-L-O-C, or as he called it, T-Log. I said, what does that stand for? And he said, total load of, and he didn't actually tell me what the C stood for. Blimey, kids. Inside the car, you can see it's left-hand drive. Uh, this was the market launch car for Porsche, 23rd of June, 2006. Lots of dials, lots of buttons, quite complicated. In fact, with the car, you get two owner's handbook. The bottom one, well, that shows you how to drive the car, use the bits, brakes, windows, everything else. The top one is the Porsche communications management instructions. Now that is quite complicated. Over the years I've read it many times and to be honest I still don't understand it. The front seats very comfortable. The rear seats well they're designed for hobbits but you can move them forward and that provides more space for luggage. The back of the car is where the engine is, but to open the back, you have to go to the driver's door 
and inside there are two switches the first one opens the bonnet that one opens the rear lid to access the engine the problem is if the battery goes flat these don't work now there are instructions for opening either the bonnet or the boot in the instruction manual they are complex but that's the reason why I don't want the car battery to go flat. If we open the rear cover, you can see the engine, the Porsche Metzger engine. Now I'm sure you know more about this than I do, but there are three things that are important to me. Firstly, it's a quiet engine. Secondly, it's a very smooth engine. And thirdly, it's a very potent engine. This car will do 0 to 60 in under 20 seconds. As for the top speed, I've got no idea. But I know it's more than 75 miles an hour. Why? Because on the back, you can see the aerodynamic wing. When you hit 75 miles an hour, this raises by a couple of inches. Unfortunately, it doesn't drop down until you go below 30. So if the wing is up, you might as well have a sign in the back window saying, I've broken the speed limit. Two extra things for you, Peter. One, twin exhaust. They're both real on this car. Behind each one, there is a turbo. And the second issue it concerns the sign, turbo. Well, it should be turbos, twin turbo, or two turbos. It can't be TT, because that stands for Tiptronic transmission or whatever anyhow that's Erica and as you can see by the sign on the wall it's parked illegally and that is another story hey what, what, what isn't there to love about a 911 beautiful color amazing spec love the story love the things you liked and also that you were brave enough to share the things that you you know frustrate you about the car uh, and for me that's what's great about these videos is we get both sides of someone's story not just all the things they love but every car no matter how much we love it every car there will be things that we either don't like or drive us mad or we just accept because that's part of the character of the car but i really love that beautiful car uh, thank you very much well there you go guys some porsche action i've got quite a few other porsches actually but i kind of just i'm trying to just select two videos per peddler's rides because i think that gives us the right kind of duration of video it's not too long to bore you and it's not too short either it's just right just perfect so i hope you enjoyed those two if you have done so please give me a thumbs up comments below are always welcome and if you haven't done so already please subscribe to petroped for plenty more content to come and i'll see you on the next film guys but you take care stay safe